Why do you think uh, that social and political upheaval reached global proportions in 1968? Well, of course, we in the United States think of 1968 as a year of unprecedented turmoil in this country. Uh, I remember living, I was a graduate student in 1968, and every, in every, just before the internet, every day you'd turn on your radio or read your newspaper and you didn't know what was going to happen next. I mean, just a cascade of world historical events, whether it was the, uh, you know, that began with the Tet Offensive in Vietnam, which kind of destroyed the rationale of, of the government in the Vietnam War. It, 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 it had the um, uh, assassination of Martin Luther King, the assassination of Robert Kennedy. It had student upheavals in the United States at Columbia University and other places. And then rippling around the world, the French student movement and the national strike in France, Japanese students, um, uh, demonstrations against the Vietnam War all over the world, uh, Mexico City at the time of the Olympics in 1968 where the army fired on and killed large numbers of demonstrators there. Um, so in other words, it was a kind of, it was a year of global turmoil uh, somewhat like 1848 or maybe 1919. There aren't that many years of global um, upheavals. But what was unique in 68, I think, was that it was young people who took the lead everywhere. Just as in the United States, it was young students in the New Left, in France, the students, in other countries I've mentioned, England, these demonstrations against, and by the way, not all in, in, in um, in, in Czechoslovakia, movements against the communist regime there. Um, it was young people who repudiated their elders, repudiated the existing political system, whether it was a communist system or a democratic system or uh, some dictatorial system somewhere. Young people were repudi repudiating uh, the existing political institutions and demanding far-reaching change. And it really announced the arrival of youth onto the stage of politics as uh, you know, as, as the cutting edge of change, which had never really happened before. There have been many, many years of political demonstrations throughout, our, throughout history, but they had never been led by students, by young people. So this was really a new international phenomenon in 1968.